Hello YouTube, welcome to new scene anatomy video. We just released before Christmas the public beta version of Zebra 2. Zebra 2.8 brings a new interface and many new features. In this video I will show you the new features and gives you a nice overview of the new interface. So let's start. Here is the old interface, so I will take here the new one. So let's take it. So make it here to the dot 8. So this is the new interface. So the public beta comes with two different interfaces. This is the clear one, but it comes also with a darker one, so the dark 8. And this is the two skins available in the a public beta version, which is available for free on the Kifo R forum, inter, uh, forum, and you can download it there, and you can test it for free. But there are noise inside, so if you are a user of Zebra 2, you can download it also for free, and you can use it with your um, license. Uh, I take here again the, the clear one, because I prefer the clear one. So what you can see here is the interface is far more, cl uh, more clear and it's better to read. And for me it's also uh, far better to work with such GUI than with the old one. Uh, first news, you see the modules are more clear now. They are um, f better readable and they look like also now more modern and they are really nice made. You see in the, um, on the bottom here the new the modules also. Then you have here the, the biggest news is in the oscillators has now a big interface, a big editor. So let's open this. And you see here you can now draw your own waveforms better than in the old interface. You can draw them here and you take all the different stuff available in Zebra. So it's better, more beautiful in my opinion. Same also here, you have everything inside the editor. We have here also this one for changing it's everything you redesigned. Same is also for the envelopes. The envelopes have now also its own new design editor, full screen editor, so you can also take now the envelopes like this and design your own envelopes for this amazing. For sound designer, for sound designers, it's a really improvement. And here you can also map the parameters and the modulation depth directly inside the editor, but it's also very comfortable. Then you have, um, next you have also the sequence is improved, it's uh, also better readable now, and for me much much easier. Then you have here the X and Ys, and you have also the metrics known from the old version, but same as the 2.7 update, you can also map here the different parameters via drag and drop, and this works also super fine, also in the public beta version already. Then we have also, an, for me, an improved X and Y pads, which are also now really nice to use. Then you have a new preset browser, which is made in local. Local are the presets available inside uh, Zebra of the factory library. Then you have here the user, the search history, uh, safe, saved searches. Then you have the favorites, they are color coded now. So you can code your uh, favorite presets with colors, which is also very nice. So you have, for example, a song with these presets, you can make them in yellow or orange. Then you have also an auto section. You can see all the people who made the presets for the synthesizer. And in my opinion, it's now also a feature available, or maybe it was already in the older version available, the bypass effects. Now it's better to you, uh, better uh, to see. And you can deactivate the effects on every patch directly. So like this. It is super cool to see, oh, okay, so it's the patch made without effects, and so it's for me super comfortable to make. Then you have here also a better interview interface of the filters, so you can see always which filter you have. It is also better made than the old ones. And you have also here the different ones. Then you have also um, a great uh, new is also in the FM oscillator. In the previous version, you don't see 
you can't didn't see the uh, the waveform now you can see the waveform and what is also nice to see now finally the waveform of the fm oscillator that is far better and then you have here also a redesigned key scale velocity gain everything has a new interface which is make really nice in my opinion uh, then you can new pitch stuff also included um, then you have as here then have some major sound design features new in included you have a new wave folder and you have two um, instances so you can pay two folders inside what is cool here I take only one and let's play a bit with it new feature to add a distortion to your sounds and it's really nice it sounds really fat and uh, gives a new powerful sound design feature to Zebra 2. Um, next you have also a new reverb so we get, go here to the global section and I take here down the normal reverb and we have here now a new reverb Let's play also with this one. So this is a really new, a cool new sound design feature in my opinion. It's a nice sounding reverb. It's now not the biggest uh, reverb, but it's a really decent and gives you not that uh, big, big reverb sound, but it's uh, nice, small and really cool. Um, not to forget, they also redesigned the entire map system here. So it's now uh, better also to use. You have also full full screen here. Uh, what is also better for me to read off the things, to design new pa uh, patches or to design new uh, sequences and it's also super made now. Same also here as then the oscillators or in the um, model on the envelopes. You can also map here the parameters directly inside the editor and also add the modulation depth with the value and delete it. So it's really nice made. In my opinion, the, the entire update is great. 
it gives users a better interface for designing own sounds and it's also better to understand the entire structure of Zebra. It's for me a massive update and as usual for UE stuff, this update is for free. And if you're a user of Zebra 2, you can play without around without Christmas now with the public beta. And you can download it from the Kivia uh, forum on the user on the UE user forum. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please give a positive thumb and a subscription for more future videos. Um, I wish you Merry Christmas and maybe I'll see you again very soon on this uh, channel. And big thanks for watching and for your continued support. I hope to see you again also very soon and ciao.